Hi, this is Annie Manny with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to take you through an edit uh, using the Blessings set and a little bit of something from Miracle Makeover. We're going to use one of the actions from Miracle Makeover today to do a little something different, something a little bit um, creative that the action um, wasn't actually titled for, but I use quite frequently um, in different applications. And um, first I'm just going to do the basic artistic uh, edit on this. I'm going to use Beloved from the Blessing set and run that very quickly on here. And I'm going to turn that up and flatten that. And then I am just going to run uh, this foray from Blessings very quickly for some added pop. And flatten that, and then one last little, I want to lighten it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to go up to my Picture Perfect set, and I'm going to run uh, the Mid-Tone Booster. Take that down just a little bit there. And that looks good, and flatten that. And then I am going to show you a little trick from the Miracle Makeover set. We are going to select the Fixed Color Cast Reflections action. And I'm going to use this today to change the color on my image. I'm going to um, change, uh, just for sake of demonstration, change the color of this flower and her hair clips. Um, this is an action that is uh, was designed to fix color casts. Say if you're wearing a red shirt and you've got a red reflection on the skin, you can uh, get rid of that that reflection with this action. Um, it's really good for spot corrections like that, but it also is a really fun way to change colors on different objects in your image. Uh, you can use it to neutralize color casts, but you can also actually just change colors to whatever you wish. Um, it comes in handy. I use it a lot if a subject has, say, um, a pink hat on and a red shirt. I can change the pink hat to be more in tone with the red shirt or what have you. If something, if tones in, in their accessories or their clothing is not quite matching, I can make a match better with that. Or if I just have an odd color that's popping out too much and clashes with the rest of the image, I can change the color of that with this action. So we'll show you how it works. We're going to just run it really quick, and it's going to tell me... Uh, to select whatever color I want. Usually you would be selecting, if I was getting rid of, say if there was a cast on her cheek here of a color, I would select from a good area that I want the color to match. Um, in this case, we're going to be picking our own color. So I'm going to go through here and um, let's change the color to a blue. You don't want to get the color too saturated um, so stay in, over in here in the more muted areas. And now it's telling me just to paint over it. Um, it's set to 68%, and you'll want, if you're going to want to change a color completely, just take it up to 100%. I like to m have a little bit show through so it's not all solid one tone, so maybe 75%, and then we'll play with it and see how it looks after we get going. So we're going to, uh, you want to zoom in when you do this to make sure you don't have any spillage. And... I'll first want to work around the edge with a smaller brush and I'm not going to do a perfect job here because I want to go quick for you guys. Um, just paint around the edge with a smaller brush and you might want to change the hardness. Get a harder brush for the edges would probably look best. And uh, you know, zoom right in and do a really nice job um, but not, not like I'm showing you. I'm just kind of do this really quickly just to get through this quickly and show you how it works. So just paint all the way around that edges and then when we get to the end here. Oh, and I have my brush set at 55%. So <laughs> my brush wasn't set to 100% from the last thing I was doing. So we're only seeing part of that effect on there. So I'm going to go back over it again really quickly. Yeah. 
and you can see there's some fringe around the outside. I could, I would want to zoom in and get get all of that area there, but right now I'm just going to do a quick and messy job here just to show you. And once we got that edge done, I'm going to make my brush size larger. You can use your bracket keys. I also right click to get the palette there pulled up so I can just pick from there. You can also hit your left bracket key to go down, your right bracket key to go up, and then I'm going to actually make my brush hard again and paint the rest of that. And yeah, the thread on her dress is pink too, so if you really wanted to get picky, you could go in there and change that too. Um, zoom in on her hair clip here. And and you, you just play around with the, the hardness of the brush to see what's working best for what you've got. Um, I shot this at very, uh, with a very shallow depth of field, so there's kind of a soft edge on it, so I might want to go softer on the brush and just see how, how it works with what, what you're working with, because that's a little bit too hard for this image. But. Make sure you don't hit stuff like hair and whatnot when you're doing this. And like I said, you can take the uh, up of 100%, that looks kind of too saturated and fake. Um, you can go in and change the color by just double clicking on the layer and picking, see, I, like I said, it looks better if the color is not really saturated. You can see here, this looks uh, horrible if you go with a really saturated color, but if you go down to uh, the duller colors here, uh, it looks more natural and and I, if you want to get picky, you can go in and get a soft brush. And do some of this. You could even lower your brush opacity to do these little areas here. Just to get some of that pinkness gone there that's kind of falling out on the shirt. And so just to give you a general idea of how that works, and uh, there's a before and the after. It's really fun. You can change colors of clothing, of, you know, change the background color. You can do whatever you want with that. It's really fun and useful tool, not just to fix color cast, but also just change the color of objects in images. And hopefully that was helpful, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening.